everyone, it's Leo, and since we're more than halfway through Delicious Party Precure and we're walking towards the last arc of the season, in this video I want to share what I still want to see in Delicious Party. I feel like there are lots of interesting things they have been building up, some of them are certain to be in the season, and some of them are just my wishes. So let's put it off the way and talk about the things that we know are gonna be in the season, which are, first, Kome Kome. Kome Kome's story, and Kome Kome being Kome Kome the second, is gonna be part of the story of the season for sure. They are gonna tell the story of Kome Kome the first. We have no idea what it is, and I really hope it's related to Yui's grandmother, which is also another thing that I feel like they're gonna touch more upon. The second thing is they are definitely gonna show us who the narrator is because the narrator in the first episode said that we're gonna learn who she is later on. Another thing that we're definitely gonna see is Godots, the villain, the reasoning behind Godots. Who is Godots? Is he Rosemary's mentor and master? Who are they? We have no idea who Godots is for now but we can theorize and such. This is another thing that for sure they're gonna answer. And the other one is Cinnamon. Cinnamon's story and past in Cool Kingdom is definitely gonna be touched upon. And what happened between Cinnamon, Rosemary, Fennel, and why Fennel was so distressed in learning that he might be framed in episode 29. So like, this is definitely gonna be something big for Delicious Party. Those things are going to be answered. They're not really my wishes because I'm sure this season is going to touch on them. So now let's talk about things that I really want to see. The first one, which I think it's a far-fetched wish and I don't think it's going to change, is I really wanted to see more battles outside of the Delicious Field. We had in 29 episodes one battle that was not in the Delicious Field, which was in episode 29. And I really wanted to see more. I really wanted to see battles in different scenarios because honestly, after all of this time inside the Delicious Field, I'm a little tired. If they change the visual of the Delicious Field, I would be happy. I would already be happy and satisfied. They could battle at night in the Delicious Field, for example. That would be very interesting and I, that would change the mood of the fights a little bit. Another thing that I would really like to see is a big final battle with everybody. So far, we don't have many villains left. We have Sikritru and we have uh, Spiritru. And I feel like they are gonna be the villains that are gonna stay with us until the end, until Godots appears, probably for the last battle. I don't think we're gonna have new generals. And that is not a problem for me because I feel like this is the pacing of the Delicious Party Precure villains, nonetheless. And Sikritru seems to be a very interesting villain. So that is not really a problem. But I really wanted to see a final battle with Sikritru, Godats, and maybe Spiritru too. And I wanted to see the four cures and Mani getting their delicious stone back so that we could have the four girls with Rosemary, Fennel, Black Pepper, and Surfil. So, you know, four cures with four uh, cook fighters. That would have been very, that would be very nice. And I really hope that we see more of Surfil. I really wanted to, I want to see more of her. And I'm very, I'm very happy learning that she's a girl. I did not notice that in the episode, but I want to see them fighting as cook fighters more. So, and we haven't seen Fennel fight. And we only saw Rosemary fight once. So, Come on, Delicious Party Precure, bring Rosemary's Delicious Stone back somehow. Another thing that I want to see is a compelling final arc for all of the characters. I always go back to Go Princess because I feel like Go Princess, the season Go Princess Precure really worked well in the final arcs. We had two parters for each of the girls. I don't remember if Scarlet had one but I'm pretty sure the other three all had two episodes to close their arcs. And uh, like we started in one and then finished in the next. And I would love to see something like that, even though I feel like the characters from Delicious Party don't have strong and like clear character arcs like those. Like they're not hunting for something. They're just enjoying their lives. 
still, that would be nice to see. And uh, considering the character arcs, there is one specific thing that I really want for them to work well with, which is Amani. I really want to see Amani still dealing with the fact that she was gentle, she was brainwashed, and she had it, uh, she suffered with the fact that she was a villain for a while. We saw that in episode 28, that it's still inside her somehow, and I want to see them building that up even more. Is she gonna forgive Narcissus for what he did in the past? How is she gonna deal with those feelings inside of her? I really want to see that, and I hope that they show how she became gentle. The moment Narcissus captured her and brainwashed her, I really wanna see something like that. Delicious party, you have to give it to us. Come on. And this is another wish that can be kind of far-fetched, but I'm gonna share it nonetheless. I would really love to see Mari in a relationship with another man. I would really like to see that on screen. We've already had it in Precure, like, briefly, in seasons like Kira Kira Precure or Hakuto Precure, but, you know, if we had a glimpse of a relationship between Fennel and Mari, I would be so happy with it already. I would be super, super happy. And I really want to see more of Mari as a character. I feel like they're going to work with Mari in Cinnamon's story, but I wanted Mari to have an arc of their own. I would like, as I said, I would like to see an, a closing arc for each of the girls, and if Mari had an arc of their own, I would be very happy as well. I would love to see that. And my last wish is for Pom Pom to keep on shining. And I would love for Pom Pom to give us her hair whip again. Because we haven't seen that. We only saw that at the start of the season. And then that part of her personality was a little lost. Pom Pom baby! We want to see that, okay? We want to see that. We, we, I need that personality back, okay? I really want to see something like that. And a nice thing for the last arcs is like to highlight the relationships with the girls and their partners. I would love to see that too. Anyways, I feel like this is what I would like to see from Delicious Party from now on. I feel like there is a lot of lore for them to touch upon and I'm very excited. But those other wishes are things that I would like to see and I don't know if the season is going to do them or not. The Delicious Field thing, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep on fighting the Delicious Field until the end. And no, we're not going to see anything different than that, maybe in the final battle. Who knows? Anyways, I want to see what you would like to see in Delicious Party. So please share with us your wishes for the rest of the season in the comment box below. Anyways, babies, this is all for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinnamon channel. If you are a member, thank you very, very much for your support. And if you've watched up to now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!